Today I'm going to talk about one of the greatest realizations that I had to come through in my life. And unfortunately, it took me dozens of years, decades to come to this realization. And if I had come to it before, my life would have been so much easier and I would have evolved so much quicker. But before we start, hey, I'm Gabe. Welcome to the Rock and Roll of Success. In this channel, we'll talk about how to unleash your inner rock star so that you can be the Tyler Durden to your nameless main character. So, you know, life's a video game. And today we're going to talk about how you can evolve, how you can break through. And one of the things that I think that we mistake sometimes in our lives is to think that we have limited potential. So we might think that potential is this sort of straight line that we have a barrier and we can never get through it. However, potential is something that's right here in our minds more than anything. So if you can't believe that you're able to achieve something, you won't be able to achieve it anyways. If you can't see it in your mind's eye, you won't achieve it. So I think many of you guys might have watched Pokemon when you were a kid. And you remember that some of Ash's Pokemon, they didn't want to evolve. So for instance, there was this stage, there was this episode in which Pikachu didn't want to evolve, even though Ash had the Thunderstone to make it become Raichu. That's his more advanced, more powerful form. And many times we as people have this as well. And some people call it Peter Pan syndrome. So you not wanting to grow up, you not wanting to become a higher stage of yourself. And to keep the Pokemon example, here we have Charmander with his two next evolutions, Charmeleon, which would be the teenager, lizard, fire lizard thing, and Charizard, which would be the dragon. So the last evolution. And why do we sometimes not want to become the dragon? Is it something that's in our minds that we don't have the confidence to become the dragon, to finally be the greatest self that we can be? What is it that doesn't let us achieve our full potential? So today I want to talk to you guys about something that's called the growth mindset versus the fixed mindset or the fixed mentality. And there is a very famous book about this by Carol Dweck, Mindset. And she basically talks about how there are people, there are children that they're raised with a growth mindset. So they believe that they can do better. They believe that they can improve their qualities, that they may have some things that they are not so good at, but they may improve on those and become better overall. And there are also people that are raised with a fixed mindset. So you think that there's this limit that you can't go past. And many times this limit is something that's totally mental, that's totally in your mind or that someone told you was a limit, but it's actually not a limit. That's what we call limiting beliefs because they are things that people told you or maybe not consciously told you, but things that you've heard when you were a child, for instance, and now you believe that well, maybe this isn't for me. Maybe this isn't for people like me. This isn't for our family. But they might be. If you adapt a growth mindset, maybe you realize that some of those things, you can achieve them if you try. And back to the Pokemon example, I think potential is actually a step function. So a step function looks a bit like this. So for instance, when you were a kid, you'd think that your potential is over here. Actually, not when we are little kids, because when we are little kids, we tend to shoot for the stars. We tend to think we're going to be astronauts. We're going to be big sporting legends. We're going to be superstars in music and cinema, whatever it is. But eventually we start growing up and we start kind of losing those dreams. 
either because our teachers, our parents, they tell us that we should be more, we should aim for something more real, quote unquote, for something more probable, more possible, and try to be something like a firefighter or a nurse or a doctor, depending on your families and your reality and all of the beliefs that your family have and the culture you were brought in have and what they think is realistic or not. But anyways, we have this, this limit that we impose on ourselves. But somehow, sometime, you'll do something and you'll break this limit or you'll be so close to it that you'll break it. And generally, we break it in our minds first. So you see that now. So we start here and things happen and suddenly you have a breakthrough. And now you think your limit, you know your limit is above this, but you don't know what's the next breakthrough. So then you keep going, keep going, keep going, and suddenly you have another breakthrough. So for instance, if you were Charmander over here with your potential one, after breakthrough one, now it can be Charmeleon. After breakthrough three, now you can be Charizard. At, and you've raised your potential free. And life's all about this. You keep going and going, and you don't actually know what's your full potential. So you'll have steps along the way. And so here you see the potential steps. And the blue line is the potential that you've realized. However, many times we end up not going through the, the potential steps. We don't actually realize the full potential. So maybe your potential is is even like you have 10 other steps that are not on this board. Maybe your full potential really was here, but you won't let yourself get there because someone told you that this is the limit and you take it so seriously that when you get close to it, then you boycott yourself, your self-sabotage. So you're always, you might get very close, but you never break through. So I think many of you guys heard of this guy, and now I forgot his name, but he was the first one to break the the four minute mile. So he was the first one to do one mile in less than four minutes. So before this, for all of human history until then, people thought the four minute mile, would, which would be this first potential barrier over here, they thought this was a limit. They thought that no one could ever go across that line. But the funny thing is, as soon as the first guy did it, the next year, in the, in the course of the next year, since other people knew that it was possible, a bunch of other guys did it. I think dozens of guys did it in the first year, and then hundreds did it in the second year after he broke the line because he proved it to them that the four minute mile was possible so that they could do it in three minutes, 50, three minutes, 45, whatever it was. The same thing goes for other races. For, for instance, the first person to break the 10 second barrier to do 100 meters. And then they got to 9.9, .9, 9.8. And then Usain Bolt was like 9.58 or something. And that's the record so far. And who knows, maybe we can get to 9.5, 9.4. But we are getting close to the theoretical limit of the human capacity. But there's still a little bit, little by little, we're getting there. But for the longest time, we thought maybe 11 was the limit. Then maybe 10 and a half was the limit. Maybe 10 was the limit. And of course, there is a limit somewhere, but we still haven't gotten there. And usually, in your own life, you'll put the limit way below, much below what you can actually accomplish, much below what you can actually achieve. So you'll think 
that maybe if this was Pokemon again, maybe this was level 20. And this is the limit that you can get to. But actually, if you keep going, if you keep improving little by little, you'll discover that maybe you can get to level 50. Maybe you can get to level 80. And of course, in Pokemon, the actual limit is 100. That's the most that you can get. But how far are you from your 100? And of course, you might think, oh, maybe I'm just 15. So my current limit maybe is here, really is here. But when you're 30, your limit will be over here, maybe. And when you're 50, it will be over here. So you need to, of course, always think, what's the limit right now? But how can I achieve more? Or how can I compress the time over here so that I can achieve my limit even earlier? Because I know that I can, if I can achieve this in this time frame, why can't I try to compress the time frame so that I can achieve it earlier? So that I can do those things before. Because this is one thing that many times we forget to even try. Because just by trying, just by thinking about how can I achieve this before, you will use Parkinson's law in your favor. And for those of you who don't know what Parkinson's law is, Parkinson's law. So yeah, it's the same guy that that had the the issue with, you know. I'm pretty sure it's the same guy or it's one of his relatives, but it has to do with time and how, you know, when you have a deadline. So for instance, you have to deliver something by Saturday and you usually end up using all of the time that you have. So you have this deadline for a book report if you're at school or whatever it is, and you'll use the whole time. So you will end up delivering it on Saturday or on Friday, at least, if you have this deadline. However, if for whatever reason your deadline was moved to Wednesday, this Wednesday, you would end up using less time and you would end up doing it quicker. Even if it might not be better, it might be. Sometimes compressing time, you end up doing more in less time. Or if they did the inverse, if they gave you another week, you would end up expanding the time. So the time you need to do certain work is exactly the time that you give yourself the, the deadline. That's why it's important to give yourself deadlines as well. And that's why I end up giving myself deadlines that usually they are way over here. So they are crazy deadlines and crazy short deadlines. That's the thing that some of the big guys on the internet talk about as well. So the Alex Hormozis of the world. If you compress the timelines, you will get better results. So for instance, if there's something that you do on a weekly basis and you say, no, let's do it twice a week now, or let's do it once a day. Let's give, give myself the same the same work, the same job that I wanted to do in one week, what if I try to do it in one day? And of course, there are things that are impossible, but many of the things that we we put on our minds that we can do, we can do it them much faster. If we give ourselves less time, if we give ourselves a little time block, instead of giving ourselves the whole week, we give ourselves a couple hours, many things can be accomplished. So this video was all about your potential, how it's not fixed, how many times we put on our minds a limit, but it's not the actual limit. We can break through. And as soon as we realize that the breakthrough is possible, then we end up breaking through it much quicker, like the guy with the four minute mile did. And like all of the other guys ended up breaking that limit. And now like, regular Joes that aren't even the fastest Olympic runners do it. And this also has a lot of a lot to do with what guys like Tony Robbins and his book Unleash the Giant Within and Jim Ron talk about. 
and how sometimes just by imagining something, just by imagining that you can become the Charizard, you end up getting closer to your evolution, even if you're still a Charmander. So back to the drawing here, back to the Pokemon, even if you're still the little Charmander, you can't imagine yourself as a Charizard. Of course, you, you shouldn't just think about it. You need to really believe that you will become the Charizard. And by be actually believing, you will start taking the actions and they will come naturally to you. And eventually you'll become the Charmeleon and eventually you'll become the Charizard. You'll learn to fly. And that's what I want for you, all of you guys. I want all of you to flap your wings to see the world, to do the best possible. And the first thing, before we can do it, is to believe it, is to see it in our eyes, in our minds. Is So, for instance, whatever it is that you're thinking that you can't do, start imagining that you already did it. Act as if you've already done it and think, what changed? The person, the version of you that achieved what you want to achieve what are their thoughts? What are their feelings? What are their beliefs? And start trying to adapt those beliefs into the person that you are now. So act as if you were already that person. And little by little, you'll come to this breakthrough. You'll come to the next breakthrough. And you'll get there. You'll get there. What, wherever it is that you want to get whatever this looks like for you. So you might do this graph for yourself and think about it. So if it's about the Pokemon level, you can put it over here, what it will look like for you. Maybe it's you want to lose some weight. Maybe it is you want a better job. So you think this is the level you're at right now. So maybe you're just a junior developer. You want to become a senior developer. You want to become a manager. You want to become a CEO. So think about all of the levels and what you need to do to get through each of them. And sometimes you might even have a double breakthrough, a triple breakthrough, if you are able to imagine so much. Of course, it's you have to break through this one to break through this one, but you may decrease the timeline so much that you end up pretty much jumping steps but also i think something that people don't usually think about or they don't usually value is that there's also a bit of a limit in the time that we can do these breakthroughs so sometimes giving yourself a bit of time between one breakthrough and the next might be healthy because let's let's face it it's it's a bit tiring to grow and you need energy and you need, sometimes it's like building a building or if you think of a tree, it will grow a little bit on its height and then it will need some time to grow, to use that energy to make it like stronger and then it can grow a little bit more in height and then it will become a little bit stronger. So it goes like this, you don't grow everything at once because otherwise you might become a very tall tree but that's this thick and the first wind that comes you might fall so there's that as well sometimes you just need to grow a little bit relax a little bit so that you can really get into that vibe and make it a real part of you and then you grow a little bit more but it's just those cycles. It's about like when you go to the gym and you're getting a little stronger and then you need to relax, you need to rest a little bit. Those muscles, you, you may try to train another muscle group and then you get a little bit stronger, rest, get a little bit stronger, rest, and do this little by little. Cycles, the quicker the better. Like I said in the beginning, just try to shorten those cycles so that you can improve faster. But yeah, just by having this realization after this video that you will have a natural limit in your mind and that you can 
break break through it and think about how you can break through it and how you can break through the next level and the next and the next just by having this in your mind you will be able to achieve much much more and i wish i knew this a few years ago but it is what it is right this is why i'm here this is why i'm telling you guys these things so that you can achieve whatever you want quicker than i did and realize those things quicker than i did so you can unleash your inner rock stars thank you for watching but before you go please comment and please talk about what are you trying to achieve in your life and what are the the things that you think are the barriers why do, do you think that you can't achieve whatever your dreams are and please share with your friends please follow the podcast please follow the newsletter because i talk about these things every day and I want to make you guys the best version of yourselves, the rock star version that can play with Guns N' Roses in the full stadium. That's the people that I want by my side. Thank you for watching. Let's go, go, go.